Alright guys, I picked up this knife the other day, it grabbed my attention on Amazon, there's links down below if it floats your boat. It's another bargain basement, it cost me $19. Uh, all right, it's four and three quarter inches closed, and it's got a G10 handle, which is skeletonized, hollowed out. It's all open construction, it's got some barrel spaces in there. It's not a bad looking knife, it looks uh, pretty nice. Anyway, let's uh, shoot it open. Thumb studs work well. Look at that blade, that's a nice pokey, pokey blade, eh? It's kind of a sabre grind to it. Came pretty sharp, although I have um, I stropped it, basically, is all I've done, I stropped it. Nice slim blade, but it's got rigidity, you see the it's thickest in the middle there. Um, axis lock. Now the axis lock is pretty stiff. But it's very, very smooth. And I'm hoping that the springs, you see the springs in there maybe. Um, let me show you again from the inside. You can see where the springs, see those two little bits of wire there which are on the liner, does have steel liners, stainless steel is my guess and they're uh, black, it looks pretty nice, pretty nice it feels pretty comfortable, it's super light, super slim, easy to carry and the pocket clip, although it does have, doesn't have countersunk screws but they're not those great big mushroom screws either so and there's plenty of room there to slide this into my work jeans which is pretty heavy denim and the clip is pretty stiff it, 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 it works pretty good quite impressed with it all um, yeah the axis lock very smooth very smooth action on it the blade centering is good just a super slim knife for such a long blade. I don't know, worth looking at it. Let's see how slicey it is. Let's slice up some. So this has a 4 inch D2 steel blade, sabre grind, uh, nice thin swedge across the top and a nice uh, V or uh, flat grind on the blade. The blade was sharp, although I have uh, stropped it and got it a little sharper. Uh, it's shaving sharp, sharp enough. Nice axis lock. A nice and smooth operation but, um, it is a little stiff might wear in as the springs wear in a little but it's, it's got a good action to it I like the action Oop, if I not hit my stuff here in the camera <laughs> all right um, what else can I say about it pocket clip is right hand um, you can't switch it over but I don't know. I use these things left and right pocket with, with no problem. It's not running on bearings. Uh, must be running must be running on washers, but I haven't been in there to take a look at what it's running on, if it's uh, brass washers or bronze or, or whatever. I've no idea. All right, so this is the box that it came in. Here's some numbers there. There's the address in China. And I guess that's that must be the model number there. So no money wasted on the box really. Minimal minimal. I do like the I do like the action on this. Uh, you can flick it out really easy I'll just flick it out with using the axis lock yeah 
It's another one of these uh, fun knives to play with. It does have a nice action, although the axis um, buttons themselves kind of stick in my thumb a little. A little sharp. They're not the smoothest and the spring is pretty stiff on it. But overall, works just fine. Flick it out with the thumb. Yeah, works good. Alright, let me know what you think guys. Kind of an interesting little knife. Um, with D2 steel and all for 19 bucks. I don't think it can go far wrong. Pretty discreet carry for a 4 inch blade. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.